So we are back again with our chapter photosynthesis. Today we will be discussing about the two main phases of photosynthesis. Now there are two main phases of photosynthesis. One is the light dependent phase, another is the light independent phase. Now this light dependent phase is term shows that this phase occurs in presence of light. That means in this reaction light plays the key role and this phase takes place in thylakoids. Now you already got about thylakoids. The thylakoids contain chlorophyll. The pigment chlorophyll is contained in the wall of thylakoids. So as this pigment uh, chlorophyll is present in within the thylakoids, that means thylakoids contains chlorophyll, so light dependent phase takes place there. The light reaction phase occurs in two main steps. First is the activation of chlorophyll. Now this chlorophyll on exposure to light energy, they get activated. Why? Because they are absorbing photon. What are photons? Photon is the smallest unit of light energy. So this chlorophyll gets activated. Next is the splitting of water. Now, this absorbed energy is used in splitting the water molecule into hydrogen, oxygen and the release of electrons. This 2H2O gives 4H positive plus 4 electron negative plus oxygen. Next, end result of the product of photolysis. Now, this previous one, this splitting of water molecules is also known, this process is also known as photolysis, which means splitting by light. Now, the end result of the product of photolysis. First, hydrogen ions, they are picked up by a compound. That is, compound is NADP. NADP means nicotinamide, adenine, dinucleotide, phosphate. And what they form? They form NADPH. Oxygen component is given out as molecular oxygen. And the electrons, they are used in converting ADP. ADP means adenosine diphosphate into ATP, adenosine triphosphate. This process is called phosphorylation. That means addition of phosphate. But as energy is used in this process and that energy has come from light, that is photons, so this process is also termed as photophosphorylation. Light independent phase. This phase is also known as dark phase or is also known as Kelvin cycle. And this phase occurs in the stroma of chloroplast and glucose gets produced in this phase only. Conversion of glucose into starch and other chemicals. Now we know that most green plants they convert glucose into starch as soon as it is formed. So several glucose molecules are transformed to produce one molecule of starch. And this process is called polymerization. Adaptations in leaf for photosynthesis. Now, leaf adapt themselves to carry the process of photosynthesis. First is a large surface area. Leaf, most of the leaves get most large surface area so that they can absorb maximum light. Leaf arrangement. The leaves are arranged at the right angles to the light source to obtain maximum light. Numerous stomata. They, they, most of the leaves get numerous stomata so that there can be a rapid exchange of gases, both oxygen and carbon dioxide. Extensive vein system. This is for rapid transport of water as well as minerals and food to and fro from the mesophyll cells. There are in many such adaptations are there like the thinness of leaves that reduces the distance between the cells. That facilitates more rapid transport. The chloroplasts are there. They are mainly present in the upper layers of the leaf. So that they can absorb light energy. End result of the product of photosynthesis. 
Now, there are three products of photosynthesis. First is the glucose, second is water, third is oxygen. So, whatever glucose gets produced is used in four different ways. Some are immediately used by plant cells, some are stored in the form of insoluble starch, some are converted into sucrose. Water, the water that are produced in this process may be reutilized. Oxygen, some of the oxygen may be used by the plant itself and but the maximum amount of oxygen are diffused out into the atmosphere or diffuses out into the atmosphere. So we can say that the oxygen is not a waste because all organisms require it for their existence including the plants which require it at night. Utilization of synthesized food and its translocation. Now whatever food gets manufactured in the leaf is required for the use by all other parts of the plant. Whatever food is manufactured in the leaf is required for use by all, all other parts of the plant. That means the glucose is formed in leaf should is required by the other parts of plant also. But in what rapidity the glucose is formed, in that rapidity it cannot be transported. So it is converted into insoluble starch. But that is for temporary storage. At night it is reconverted into soluble sugar and that is transported to other all other parts of the plant. Factors affecting photosynthesis. Now there are some external and internal factors are there which affect the process of photosynthesis. First is the light intensity. You can see in this graph also the rate of photosynthesis will increase with light intensity. Carbon dioxide. Rate of photosynthesis also increases with carbon dioxide concentration. With increased carbon dioxide concentration, rate of photosynthesis increases. Temperature. With the rise in temperature, the rate of photosynthesis rises. But this rise occurs up to a optimum temperature. And the optimum temperature is about is 35 degrees Celsius. And after which the rate falls. So you can see the graph has fallen down. And it stops above 40 degrees Celsius. Water content. The scarcity of water due to reduced absorption from the soil or due to loss through transpiration reduces the rate of photosynthesis. And it also causes closing of the stomata. Now, the internal factors include chlorophyll, protoplasm and structure of leaf. Now, due to some nutritional deficiencies of minerals can cause a loss of chlorophyll. So, if there is a loss of chlorophyll is there, there will be a drop in trapping of solar energy. Protoplasm. Dehydration of protoplasm for some reason reduces the rate of photosynthesis. Structure of leaf. The thinness of cuticle or the distribution of stomata and the size of the leaf that influences the amount of the light and amount of the carbon dioxide entering the leaf. So now is the time of home assignment. First question. Name the three end product of photosynthesis and mention the fate of each of them in the plant. Number two. Describe the main chemical changes which occur during photosynthesis. In light reaction and dark reaction. Dark reaction means light independent phase. Light reaction means light dependent phase. So students I think all of you understood till here. And all of you will be writing these home assignments in your leftover pages of old assignment copy or your previous year's classwork or homework copies or weekly test copies. So we will be discussing about the experiments on photosynthesis in our next video. Thank you.